19 down and one to go. But before we find out what it is, here's a quick recap. At 10 was one of the Caribbean's finest, St. Lucia. At 9, the eastern flavor of Hong Kong. At number 8, the dreamy Seychelles. The island of the gods, Bali came in at 7, while Sicily made it to 6. At number 5, Manhattan Island. And at number 4 was Mauritius. At 3, we had magical Zanzibar. And at 2, exotic Sri Lanka. Marco Polo, who was probably the first world traveler, he called it his favorite island. He called it a jade pendant in the Indian Ocean, and that's exactly what it is. It's got absolutely everything. It's got some amazing undiscovered beaches. You can still very much there have a beach to yourself. And with 100 miles of unspoilt sandy beaches and some magnificent coral and marine life, Sri Lanka is arguably one of the world's greatest islands for beaches. It's got a wonderful history and culture in a really small space. And you don't get to number two without some must-see sites. And the ancient city of Sagiria, a 5th century fortress perched atop a rock, is unmissable, not least for the views. You've got amazing national parks with elephants and leopards. The wildlife is a major highlight. The elephant orphanage at Pinawala is the best of its kind. And from starting in 1975 with just seven jumbos, it now has 65, making it the largest herd in captivity. You've got lovely food if you like your spicy curries, and this is definitely the place to go. You go to Sri Lanka and you can find just a little bit of everything. You couldn't be bored in a million years.